Malapit na lumabas ang Xiaomi Pad 6 dito sa Philippines, maybe by next month, July. Pero meron tayong papakita sa inyo dito na napakalakas na tablet, ang Xiaomi Pad 6 Pro. And gusto natin malaman kung malaki nga ba ang upgrade nito doon sa previous na na-release na Xiaomi Pad 5. Kaya natutuklasin natin sa video na to pagkatapos ng quick unboxing. So many heartbreaks Goes back to 2014 And I think that she knows it And if you've seen her I know that you would believe it Cause I I know that you'd want her to Yeah, I do Everyone's taking their shot But missing out on the cut I think she knows that She drives some crazy when she's looking like that Na bago lahat, gusto ko lang patiin ng Happy Father's Day lahat po ng mga tatay or gumaganap ng role ng tatay, yung mga single mom natin dyan. Saludo po sa inyong lahat. I hope you enjoy your day. But anyway, tara pag-usapan na natin yung Xiaomi Pad 6 Pro na gusto ko lang muna ding sabihin sa inyo na kung nag-expect kayo na lalabas ng Pro version dito sa Philippines, baka man dismaya kayo kasi most likely yung Pad 6 lang yung lalabas with the Snapdragon 870 and this one, the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 na version, ay magiging China exclusive. Pero okay magalala kasi kung gusto nyong bilhin yung Pro version, eh pwede pwede nyo tong ma-order sa Shandy Masangkay. Ilalagay ko po yung Facebook link nila dyan sa description box. At syempre, nandyan na rin po yung link mismo sa Lazada kung gusto nyong dun o order mismo. Alright, so diretso na tayo sa performance. Gaano nga ba kalaki yung difference sa performance ng Xiaomi Pad 5 sa Xiaomi Pad 6 Pro? Well, medyo malaki-laki. From Snapdragon 860 na merong 700,000 ang Tutu Benchmark Points, eh makikita nyo na meron na tayong 1.2 million ang Tutu Benchmark Points dito sa Xiaomi Pad 6 Pro. Malaki po talaga yung performance difference ng dalawa. And yung improvements na yan, eh pwedeng-pwede talagang mapakinabangan kung sakaling mag -e edit kayo ng videos or maglalaro kayo ng hardcore gaming dito sa tablet nyo. And speaking of gaming, sumubok tayo ng ilang games dito, Call of Duty Mobile, Mobile Legends, and Tower of Fantasy. And lahat po yan, eh perfect na tumatakbo dito sa Xiaomi Pad 6 Pro. And tunay na napakasarap na maglaro ng games dito with its 11-inch display. Solid na solid. At kung maglalaro kayo ng emulators dito, panigurado may enjoy nyo. At kayang-kaya na Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1, no questions asked. At syempre, kung kaya nito yung mga matitinding games, of course, kayang-kaya rin yan yung mga daily task. Whether you're just reading a manga, da, napakaganda rin magbasa ng manga dito dahil full screen na. And also, whether you're just browsing TikTok, Facebook, or just watching YouTube videos. Panalong panalo po. And speaking of YouTube videos, pag-usapan na natin yung display nito. So again, meron tong 11-inch na display, 144Hz refresh rate, full HD resolution. Yun nga lang, IPS LCD lang. I would have wanted na maging AMOLED sana yung display nito. Pero syempre, hindi pa rin binibigay sa atin ng lahat dito ng Xiaomi Pad 6 Pro. Maybe in the 7 version. But hopefully in the future, eh, mabigyan na tayo sa wakas ng tablet from Xiaomi na AMOLED din. But anyway, meron nga bang improvement yung display nito over the Xiaomi Pad 5? Well, aside from the screen refresh rate, eh, wala ko gaanong napansin dahil makita nyo naman sa side-by-side -side natin na palaban pa rin yung display ng Xiaomi Pad 5. So you can't say na outdated na yung Xiaomi Pad 5 dahil lang merong Pad 6 or Pad 6 Pro. At para sa mga Xiaomi Pad 5 owners, I'm sure matutuwa kayo sa sinabi kong to dahil maganda pa rin talaga yung tablet nyo. Now, balikan lang natin yung display nito pala. Pagdating sa video editing, eh pwedeng pwede kayong gumamit ng CapCut dito and mapapakinabangan nyo yung 11-inch display niya plus yung very good performance ng chipset niya. So, masarap mag-edit ito. Yun nga lang, hindi ako sanay mag-edit on a tablet pero para sa mga mobile video editors, I'm sure may enjoy nyo yung paggamit nito. Now, going back sa kakayanan ng display nito, pwede rin kayo manood ng full HD resolution na Netflix dito dahil Widevine Level 1 na to. Yun nga lang merong difference between the Xiaomi Pad 5 and this one. Dahil sinasabi nila may Dolby Vision capability itong Xiaomi Pad 6 Pro. Unfortunately, hindi rin available yung HDR capability dito sa Netflix whereas dito sa Xiaomi Pad 5 dahil global version, available yung HDR capability na to. Pero wala nga lang Dolby Vision. So hindi nyo mapapahinabangan yung sinasabi nilang Dolby Vision 
dito sa Xiaomi Pad 6 Pro for now. But hopefully, in a future update, eh, magkaroon ng capability na ma-activate natin yung Dolby Vision kasi sayang naman. But other than that, panigurado magugustuhan nyo talaga yung display nitong Xiaomi Pad 6 Pro. Moving on, pag-usapan natin yung camera nito. Meron tong 50 megapixels na main sensor plus a 2 megapixel depth sensor. Panalong panalo yung camera ng Xiaomi Pad 6 Pro. This is probably the best camera I've seen on a tablet. Makikita niyo naman yung samples. Whether it's photos or videos, panalong panalo. Now, editor, ipakita natin yung sample video na pwede maasahan ng mga viewers natin in 3, 2, 1. Next up, natuwa rin ako sa selfie camera positioning ng Xiaomi Pad 6 Pro. Kasi kung maalala nyo with the Xiaomi Pad 5, pag naka-landscape mode kayo, e eh nasa left side yung camera positioning or nasa right side, depende kung saan yung orientation nyo. But usually, naka-portrait mode dapat yung selfie camera nyo para tama yung orientation. Now, with the Pad 6 Pro, tama na yung positioning ng camera niya. Pwedeng-pwede for Zoom meetings. And eto naman yung sample natin ng front-facing camera for video. Yo, so ito yung video capability ng Xiaomi Pad 6 Pro. Selfie. Yeah, solid. Pwedeng-pwede for Zoom meetings. If ever ito man yung gagamitin nyo for your meetings. Definitely a better camera placement compared dito sa Xiaomi Pad 5 na dito sa portrait mode na kalagay yung selfie camera. So, pag naka Xiaomi Pad 5 ka, portrait mode, gagamitin mo with this one, a landscape tayo, which is the right orientation kung nag tayo ng online meetings. Susunod naman, pag-usapan natin yung speakers. Meron tayong quad speakers pa rin. The same with the Xiaomi Pad 5. And I would say, meron lang slight improvement but not that much. Ito yung quick samples natin from the Xiaomi Pad 5 and the Xiaomi Pad 6 Pro para lang may basihan kayo. So yun, overall, maganda pa rin yung speakers nitong Xiaomi Pad 6 Pro. And it's gonna be the same thing para sa Xiaomi Pad 6 na asahan natin na lalabas dito sa Philippines. For the battery naman, this one has an 8,600 mAh na battery capacity with a 67 watts na fast charger. Which is a huge improvement from the previous one which only had a 33 watt fast charging capability. Yun nga lang, medyo bumaba yung battery capacity. Pero siguro ginawa nila yun para mas maging slim yung design nito and magaan din kahit na ganito kalaki yung screen niya. Now, the biggest upgrade na dapat nyong asahan dito with the Xiaomi Pad 6 Pro is that pwede nyo tong i-connect to an external display. So, recta from USB-C to an HDMI outlet. Pwede, pwede. So, that one we couldn't do with the Xiaomi Pad 5 without any workaround. Now, this one, that USB-C 3.2 na siya, pwede nyo nang isaksak agad sa external display so that you will have a bigger display para sa tablet nyo. Now, there are a few things na sana eh, nandito sa Xiaomi Pad 6 Pro. Number one, wala siyang 3.5mm headphone jack. Number two, wala siyang expandable memory card slot. And number three, wala siyang SIM card slot. So purely Wi-Fi connection lang yung pwede dito. And let me just point out pala guys na yung camera modules ito eh, based on the Xiaomi 13 series. So makikita nyo dito side by side with the Xiaomi Pad 5. Yung Xiaomi Pad 5 eh, based on the camera module naman ng Xiaomi Mi 11 series. And again, dito sa Xiaomi Pad 6 and Pad 6 Pro, and nakabase naman sa camera module ng Xiaomi 13 series. So that is a really cool design trend na ginamit ni Xiaomi para maging uniform yung phones nila and yung tablets. So yun po yung quick review natin ng Xiaomi Pad.
iPad 6 Pro. If you want to get one, again, lahat po ng links nandiyan sa description box. And this is definitely a tablet that I can highly recommend sa inyo. Again, this is a China ROM version, so you will have to install pa yung Google Play para magamit nyo agad yung mga apps na gusto nyo gamitin for this one, but it's so easy to do. And also, kung gusto nyo mag-pre-order, available na po ito sa Shandy Masangkay. Check out nyo lang po yung Facebook page nila. So hopefully, nabigyan ko kayo ng idea dito sa Xiaomi Pad 6 Pro or whether you should wait for the Xiaomi Pad 6 and I would say wait for it para sa global version. I will also be doing a review for that on the channel. Anyway, kung gusto mo pang manood ng mga videos ko, may mga ililink po ako dyan. Panigurado, magugustuhan niyo po lahat yan. So hanggang sa susunod, ako nga pala ulit si Janus na Pinoy Tech Dad. Kita-kita ulit tayo. I think she knows that she drives some crazy when she's looking like that